Hello guys and uh, welcome to this channel. My name is uh, Roman Arvais. I am a civil engineer with a specialization of on structural engineering. Today I'm going to look at the question how does a portal frame work? To this purpose we are going to take an example of a warehouse. This is the type of the building that we are going to used to demonstrate this and we need to take an x zeta plane and maybe we need to move us to the section 20 there what we have here is um, steel columns which are pinned at the base of this ground these are as well the top of the steel column are connected to the rafters there are two rafters here um, this corner this hunch allows moment transfer transfer moment and transfer axial forces the same is on the joint of this uh, rafter there allowed continual moment so if we take uh, a result for this uh, or a picture to explain this we can uh, choose a uh, last combination and we can see for example uh, that we have a large moment on the top of the steel column as well as uh, on the rafter we have the same moment so they are going to work in that way we had a we have a less moment on the top of this rafter but the, um, the meaning of this is that we are going to have um, give more stiffness to this corner in that way, for example, uh, on the, co on the um, connection between these two elements or members. And the same way on the apex couch, we are going to make some stiffness. So that is. Uh, a uh, definition for a portal frame so what we have here is that the slope of this uh, roof is around eight rather eight grades and of course the span width the clear span width is around uh, 25 meters could be as well 30 meters so we, we switch off these uh, results and uh, uh, we're going to continue with the explanation uh, in that way apply and we get back to the isometric view on the isometric view we take a plan view for this uh, building we see that uh, we have bracing on the south elevation both on the roof on and on the sides both on the east side of the building and on the west and we have bracing as well on the north side of the building so the plan view in that way to to explain this i have here another picture uh, i'm going to <coughs> to explain from the we will see from this the west to the east which means that uh, we define it uh, the portal frame and uh, when um, wind is blowing in this way so the portal frames are going to take by reaction or reacting to this so if we see on the model here the wind that we need to turn on you see that uh, we have the wind more concentrated in the simulation on the west side of the building so if we get back there so the frames there are the elements that take care of that uh, if we look again to the model here we change the direction of the wind 
from the south to the north and we see that on this short side we have these winds lows here so we switch off this and we turn on the other explanation with the plan view uh, section view or uh, elevation view for the from the east elevation so as you saw as i told you before if he, we have the concentrated load wind blowing on the south elevation this tends to bending moment so lateral loads cause bending on the roof trusses you see the blow line here and um, in that way you get a reaction on these points so the green ground loads are transferred to the ends by axial force in the bracing members and after loads are then transferred to the ground by the tension in the side bracing members so you take uh, that uh, elevation here you see that the winds blowing on that direction uh, by axial forces or so tension that taking care for this uh, lows to the ground so you get a reaction there and the other on the other side the same is to the other end so basically this is the way that uh, roof trusses with sidewalls bracing work and uh, of course the meaning is taking care of the um, lateral loads so that's why uh, portal frame we can switch off that that's why a uh, portal frame is adopted for one direction and a roof trusses for the another direction like I explained it so I hope that this give you more knowledge about uh, structural engineering so if you like it give me a thumb and uh, we will see on the next time see you around have a good time